Hello, comrades. Uh, welcome once again. This is uh, your friend, uh, your brother, uh, Rabbi Dr. Arfol, welcoming all of you. Uh, good people, I want you to subscribe to this channel, those of you who are new here, and then hit on the notification bell so that in the future, as I keep rolling uh, very informative videos on uh, mystical things, I mean those into spirituality, yes, as I keep rolling uh, these things, then you keep on uh, getting some of these um, uh, uh, tips on how to do various works uh, as far as spirituality is concerned. Uh, today, I want us to look at something. Yes, it's about uh, places of power. Places of power, yes. Indeed, you see, uh, we have certain places on our planet which has a lot of energy that can be added to your work, your spiritual work for it to run. And some of them also are places or abode for spirits. And these spirits can be of tremendous help to you. And there are places you can go and work. There are places you can pick items for to expedite your desire. There are places where you can appeal to spirits uh, to aid you in your work. Uh, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to mention all the places of power that we, we know. Then I will take them one at a time. Then I will elaborate on them. And then we can know how to use them. So if I pick one and I talk about it, that means perhaps in the, our next video, I'll be able to elaborate on the rest. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, uh, the, my phone fell out from the uh, tripod and I had to stop the video so that I can pick up and then continue. Uh, I wish to apologize for this, but sometimes it does happen. And what I'm talking about is that I'm mentioning the places of power and the places of power that uh, we can... Uh, the various places who know. Then I'll pick them one at a time and then elaborate on how to benefit from these places of power. Uh, one of the, the first place I'll call is the cemetery. The cemetery is full of various spirits. Let me say both good and bad that you can employ to aid you in your work. The cemetery is one of the places of power. Then we come to the crossroad. The crossroad is also a place of power where general work can be carried or leftover of spell work can be left so that uh, the energies there can aid or expedite the work that you did. Now, the next place is the police station. The police station uh, is also a place of power. And normally it involves works that involves legality or let me say uh, protection from the le uh, legal uh, harassment etc we use the police station then we have uh, the hospital the, yes the hospital is also used in regards to sick people yes uh, who need to be re uh, to re recover so those are the places of power then where there are rocks where there are rocks, there are also places of power. Spell work can be left uh, in those places, and the spirits of the rock acts to aid in the work that we have done. Then the railway station. Yes, the railway station is also good for people who want to travel, who want to travel. And then the marketplace. The marketplace is also a place of power where we want to boom our business. The marketplace we can use uh, soil etc from the marketplace in our spells to help the, the market to boom then the riverside the riverside is also a very good place of uh, power then uh, at the what do you call it uh, the lagoon 
and the sea where they meet in between is also a place of power where spell work can also be left there and then uh, you appeal to the spirits to aid in the uh, work but today we are going to have a look at um, the cemetery yes the cemetery is a place of power but it also could be a dangerous place so if you are not experience enough in spirituality please avoid the place in totality but if you think you have the idea and the know-how you can uh, work with the uh, cemetery but i'll give you an enumeration of what you do mostly it is beneficial if you work with your your kinsmen kinsmen like your brother your auntie your cousins those that you know and were of very good behavior you can go to their, their tomb and then you carry on a work and then appeal to them to aid you. They are your direct ancestors. So I'll show the process by which you can get. If you do not have any relative there, you can adopt a, a tomb there of someone. I'll show you how to do the adoption as well. So what you do is that before you go to the cemetery, there is the need to protect yourself. I repeat, there is the need to protect yourself because there are various spirits in there. I'll show you a very simple way of doing that. You know, bay leaves. You can boil bay leaves. Then you get some baking powder. Then you put it inside the water and add a bit of sulfur. This could be put into a spray bottle and carried along. You can also have the amulet hanging on your neck or you wear the ring, amulet ring. I usually use the Sato Aripo Tenat Opera Rotas. I use that symbol as a way of protecting myself from the various spirits that reside in the city. Some people have been saying that it's good to work with uh, soldiers. Yes, because you see, the soldiers are people who are trained to obey orders. But you must know the, 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 mental, uh, the, the mental position of the person, the soldier, before you really work with them. So in going to the cemetery, you have to carry a coin, coins. And what you do is that before you enter the cemetery, you must pay. When you are coming out, you pay. You understand you throw some coins down before entering the cemetery and when you are coming out you pay you also leave some coins at the gate of the cemetery and in coming out from the cemetery please you have to use your back to come out of the cemetery you know you walk backwards the reason being that should in case some spirits were following you then they will be shed off then what you also do is that you must have this spray. When you are going in your shoes, you put bay leaves in them and then a bit of sulfur in your shoe. This is all to protect you from uh, these uh, entities. This, some of them are disembodied entities. They die through accident. They are blood testy and all those things. You just have to kick them off. So this method will protect you. And when you come out, from the cemetery, you need to use your spray of the bay leaf and the, um, what do you call it, sulfur, and then the baking powder to spray yourself. You can also carry your pendulum if you are now, you want to go and adopt a particular tomb. And what you do is that uh, you must introduce yourself at this tomb you want to uh, adopt. Look for one that is very unkempt and then clean the area. You can leave toffees, whiskey, uh, perfumes, and then you clean the headstone with uh, Florida water. You clean the headstone with Florida water. Some people too can uh, set a light at the head of the, uh, the headstone for the, uh, this thing. Introduce yourself and then you pray for the soul and then you can follow it by asking the so to do this thing but in order to determine if the the, the person tomb whom you want to adopt as accepted you can use the uh, pendulum in doing that so 
Uh, what you do is that after you have adopted the grave, you must ask the ask if uh, the the person, the dead person, has accepted your. Then you can continue and then ask the person because some of them will not accept. Don't just go to anybody's tomb and start working for it. It is disrespectful and this spirit can be very cross with you and may follow you to your house and cause you a lot of uh, this thing. Those of you in Africa, when you come out from the, uh, when you come out from the, uh, uh, this thing, the cemetery, as once did happen to me, a spirit followed me to the house. So I used uh, some of our local heads, uh, which is, uh, Pama Christi, the one we call the Adedin Kuma in the Akan language, and then uh, Holy Herb, which is Susumansa, and then the Bitter God, which is um, uh, Nyenya. I added the three, washed them, add salt, and I had a spiritual bath. And then I said some prayers, and then the spirit was dispersed. You know, so you must be very careful if really you want to go and work in the cemetery. I've seen People who go there, you leave your spell work, you appeal to the spirit, then you sometimes pour libation to their souls, departed souls, or you even can ask your ancestors to aid you. But it is best to work with your own kinsmen. If you do not get, you need to adopt um, one of uh, stranger, a stranger, which you must confirm with the use of the pendulum. If the stranger has accepted after introducing yourself, reading around, keeping, and then doing this offering of toffees, whiskey, perfumes to the uh, departed soul. If he accepts it, the pendulum will indicate it, and then you can go ahead and work for the person. Just like I mentioned, there are other places of power, like the marketplace, the cross junction, the white junction. They are, they are all... They are all places of power, and I've mentioned the various ones too. Uh, the police station, the railway, even the bank is a power is a power place where we can source, for example, soils to do money spells, which will move because the energy of money is filled there. Even envelopes or pay slips that come from the bank are filled with money energy. Uh, thank you and stay blessed as I open. Our eyes to some of these things that we can use for our own benefit. This is your rabbi, Dr. Alfred Afo, reaching you live from Ewutubo Biasi, Yahweh Spiritual Center, Barush Hashem. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Thank you and stay blessed.